It is great what God can do in a space like this. The work that he does in us is excellent. Um, in Mark, there's this phrase um, that people say when they see Jesus' work. You do all things well. The work that he does in these spaces is good. Um, but it is but a foretaste of what he wants to do in you and wants you to see on campus. Amen? Um, we're going to move into a time where we talk about what that means. Um, to start that, I'm going to have Tez come on. I, I got to meet Tez in, in our seminar, and Tez's story is very fascinating to me. It is a story filled with what it means for God to transform us as he transforms the campus. And to invite us into that. Would you share your story? Whenever I would doubt this, 
I really needed to remind myself that I needed to trust God and that He would work everything out for my best and His glory. It was here at the conference last year where God confirmed His will for me to go and be a part and serve within BCM. However, I did not really know any of the members or leaders of BCM at UCD. So I began to pray that God would bring someone into my life who would be understanding, patient, and have a more accurate perspective of African Americans. Little did I know that that same girl I had to sit with, um, who pestered me the whole way to back in the conference, was the, one, was the one that God had already chosen from the beginning of time to serve alongside of me on the mission field of UCD. There are no words, time, or paper to explain how thankful and blessed I am to have met Ashiki, who right from the beginning uh, was very welcoming, understanding, and passionate about serving the Lord. Ashiki turned my life upside down. <laughs> she destroyed all the negative, generalized biases against African Americans. I so desperately wanted to be the ASEAN leader with Ashiki, so I began to pray that God would make it possible. And a few months after the conference, we were both invited to become leaders. I remember feeling so nervous and excited and at the same time because I didn't know what to expect. But what I did know is that God was going to use me to fulfill His plan for BCM. From the beginning of leadership, the prayer of my heart was to give, was for God to give me new eyes to see the way He wants me to see and break my heart for what breaks His heart. My goal in being a BCM leader has always been to challenge and encourage my members to find their identity in Christ and find ways to serve Him each and every day. I knew that in order for the members to be able to do that, they would have to stop soaking in their stereotypes, but instead take the stand to be different and a light on campus, just as God has called us to do, so we no longer give people a reason to believe that all African Americans live out these stereotypes. I feel like our members have come a long way and I'm so proud of each and every one of them. I have really enjoyed getting to know them and hearing all the different ways in which God has worked in their lives. I'm so excited for all that God has done and all that He's going to do within PCM.